How's it going guys? I hope you're all doing well out there wherever you are in the world today. And in this video I want to take a closer look at the rig manager for the Kemper. Uh, for the last couple of videos that I've done the Kemper drives and the ambient presets video, I had the rig manager up to show you what was going on. And I had a lot of comments and messages asking me, do I have any tips for using rig manager? How do you edit your effects? How do you do this, that and the other? So I thought I'd do uh, my guide to using it and any tips and shortcuts I picked up along the way. As always, if you like what I'm doing here, really helps the channel out if you can click that subscribe button, the bell icon, leave a comment, leave a like, and check out previous videos. Dan from the future here. Um, I'm just editing together this video and there's two points that I wanted to add. Point number one, I'm far from an expert on this stuff. All I can do is pass on the bits that I've picked up if there's anything I've forgotten or clearly don't know, please leave it in the comments below because I'd be interested. I'm sure everyone else would as well. Point number two, for some reason during this video, I feel the need to say simply a lot. I don't know where that's come from. I do apologize, uh, but just try and get past it. On with the video. I'm gonna skip over actually getting your Kemper plugged in, connected and getting Rig Manager installed on your computer. There's so much information out there about that. It would just be going over old ground. So if you get that all sorted and open Rig Manager, this is what you're confronted with. On the left hand side here, you've got navigation for your rigs, your presets and your performances. Within those, you've got your, mine's just called My Profiler, but whatever your Kemper's called, the ones that are currently stored on your Kemper for all of those and a local library which is stored on your computer. For the rigs, you've also got, uh, you can interface it live uh, with Rig Exchange, so people upload their presets and you can download them. To do that, all you do is go up to the Rig Manager at the top here, uh, you go on Preferences, and then go to the little Rig Exchange tab and log in using your details. That will interface you directly with the Rig Exchange. You've also got Rig Packs here, which is Kemper's stock ones. Um, then on Presets, you've got Effects Presets, again, what's on your Kemper. Here are, they're mostly the stock Kemper ones, but some of my own as well. And then you've got the performances as well, which we'll go into a little bit later. So for example, if you're on your profiler and you want to preview a rig, all you do is double click and you'll see the little headphones appear. You can navigate down that list by just scrolling, picking and double clicking. You can scroll down using your navigation keys on your keyboard, but that won't actually engage the rigs. If you use your left and right key, as it moves down the list, it will actually preview them real time, which is quite a handy little feature that I have only recently uncovered. Turning our attention now to the window at the bottom where all of the uh, actual controls for the presets are. It works very much like your Kemper. If you're used to navigating on the Kemper like I was before I moved over to this, everything is pretty much where you think it would be. So you can see here, you've got your effects path from input to output. You can also edit the input settings and output settings as you would on the Kemper. You've got the four blocks before the amplifier and cabinet, and you've got the four blocks afterwards. You've also got this rig tab here, which will take you into the settings that are on the Kemper, such as the panorama, the transpose per rig, the wet dry balance, and to do with the morphing as well. If you wanna add an effect block to your signal path or modify one that's already there, simply highlight one of the blocks. And if you left click, it will bring up this menu of the different types of effect that are available. And as you go through them, it'll give you the different versions within that type of effect. You can also use this little menu down here to do the same thing. For the example of this, I'll just load up a green screen. And as you can see, the controls pop up straight away as if you were modifying it on the Kemper and you can simply click on them and drag them up or down to change the levels. If you wanna bypass the effect, you can click on the block so it's not highlighted anymore or quite handily, you can also press T on your keyboard to toggle it in and out of bypass. If you want to move where that effect is in the signal chain, simply drag and drop or if you wanna switch the order with something else, you can drag it over to the block that currently has something in it drop it and it will flip the order for you and leave all the settings the same. If you have a more complex effects engine, such as the crystal delay here, it brings up every single parameter that you have on the Kemper. And it's much more clear on Rig Manager because you don't have to scroll through all the pages. So you've got 
note value, your tempo sync, you can engage and disengage the infinity or the pure tuning or the freeze. It's all just available to you right there on your screen. As well as input and output controls and all the effects blocks, you've also got full access to your amplifier controls and your cabinet controls. If you want to lock any of the blocks, which I've done a lot in my previous videos, again, I'll leave a playlist link somewhere for you to check out if you haven't seen it already. You can simply use the little lock padlock down here. You can right click and click lock, or there actually is a sort of invisible button here that you can press on any of the blocks to get them locked up and click again to unlock. The copy and paste feature works very much like any other program on a computer. You can simply right click, click copy and click paste if you want to move a rig or a preset or a performance to a different location. Uh, you can also just use the shortcut command C, command V to copy and paste. When I'm creating a preset on here that I want to keep, but I don't want to overwrite the original, if you come down to the bottom corner here, there's a button called Duplicate. So I click Duplicate, and it will create a copy of that rig. Now, there's ways of doing this and not overwriting previous settings, but I prefer to have a complete copy just in case anything goes wrong. I don't want to lose my original profile. So once you've done that, you've got a copy, and you can edit to your heart's content. And then when you're finished at the bottom here, you've got Store Rig in Local Library, or it will come up with Store Rig in Profiler. You can do both, either or, depending on your needs. If you're making your own presets and profiles or you just want to rename what's already there, double click on the particular rig and then you've got this full section over here where you can change all the information. Simply type it in, press the Enter key and that's now saved. Something I use all the time on the Kemper is the morphing feature. If you're not familiar with the morphing stuff, I've done a full video about it, uh, but I recommend you check it out. It opens up a whole other world of possibilities. If you go to the Rig tab here, you have these controls at the far hand side, far right hand side, which even though they're not labeled, are to do with the um, morphing. So you've got the rise time, the fall time, and whether you want it momentary or not. If you want to actually create your morphing, so the two different values, simply go to the control that you want to morph and hold down. I'm on a Mac, so it's the Command key. I think if you're on PC, it's Shift, but I wouldn't swear to it. Um, simply hold the command key and move the parameter. So as you can see there, the blue dot is the morphed sound and the orange dot is the standard sound. If you want to engage morphing from your keyboard, you can just press the M on your keyboard and it will engage the morphing. If for any reason you want to get rid of that morphing, you can hold command and drag the parameter back to where the orange dot is and it will uh, disengage just like that. Something that I think perhaps gets a little overlooked in the Kemper is that they provide you with loads of presets for the individual effects engines, which is great if you want a good starting point and then you can tweak it yourself. To get to these on Rig Manager, just go to the presets there at the left hand side, all of mine are on my profiler. So I click my profiler and up comes a list of presets for all of the different effects engines. So for example here with the WAR we've got like a model of a bad horsey, Hendrix WAR, the Ibanez WAR, Crybaby and all you need to do is click on an empty block or one you want to modify and double click and it's straight there with all of the suggested settings. I find this particularly useful with things like the WAR where I, I've got a sound that I want, it saves me aimlessly tweaking until I get there. Also there's some great delay presets and reverb presets in there. If you're not someone that likes to tweak massively, this is a really good way of getting some good sounds without much of uh, an investigation into all of the controls. They're well labeled and you can just either double click them or you can drag and drop them if you decide you want them in a different location to the block you've currently got highlighted. Lastly, I just want to show you quickly how you can create performances on the Rig Manager. So when you go into performances, I'm going to my profiler. Please don't judge how unorganized these all are. Um, when you click on a performance, so if I find a blank one, to the right hand side there, you can see all five presets within that performance. And to construct one, I'll need an amp or two. So I go to my profiler, find an amp that I want. Say this one, left click copy, come back to the performances, find the blank one again, wherever it's gone, 
um, and then you can simply copy and paste different amps into these blocks you can then change all of the settings all of the effects all of the stuff we've talked about previously in this video and then you can rename them so we've got clean crunch lead once you've made all your changes you can change the name of the performance up here for gig um, or gig test uh, change the BPM all of that stuff uh, that's preset by preset and then you're all set to go uh, all you need to do I think it auto saves actually but you can save it there's the save buttons down here um, and yeah I think that about covers it so that was my guide to the Kemper rig manager I hope you got the help you needed if you were looking for some help or just picked up some shortcuts and tips along the way as I said, it really, really helps me out. If you could click that subscribe button, the bell icon, leave a like, leave a comment. It all helps push the channel forward. I've got loads of previous content. Make sure you check it out. And I've also got some uh, presets and profiles available to purchase. All the best, guys. I hope you have a good week, whatever you're up to. And I'll see you again in another video. Cheers. Yeah.